Hello, welcome to my video tutorial on uh, installing Easy Populate 1.2.5.7 CSV version onto your Zen card. Now, in my last video, I uninstalled a version of uh, 1.2.5.4. I did the uninstall on that, so now I'm going to install. As you can see from my tools menu, I don't have any Easy Populate installed. So what I've done is I've done a search for the 1.2.5.7 and in the 1.2.5.7 there are several versions and I got the version 1.2.5.7b. Now I've noticed that there's actually a even newer version that's supposed to work with Zencart 1.5. Now I haven't tested that out yet but I probably will at some point. Anyway, I've downloaded this and I've extracted it to a file in my FTP server. And I will go to my FTP server. And in my FTP server, I am at my cart. And uh, in my situation, it's not the base root of my website. It's in a directory called cart. So if yours is in the base root of your site, you'll want to be in the root of your site. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to look around you're going to see that you have all of your files for uh, your Zen card open. Now on your left you're going to have your easy populate files that are ready to go up. So the first thing we want to do is in the uh, in the root directory of your Zen card you want to upload this temp EP so we're going to go ahead and upload that and uh, I'll upload install text, I'll upload install SQL, license and readme, I don't need to upload that, history.txt, I'm not really sure I need to upload that. Uh, we'll see if there's a history text in there, there already is, so I'm not going to overwrite that, I don't even know what that is. So now from here we're ready to go into our admin because we've loaded all of the other files into the base root. So now what we need to do is load this into our renamed admin. Now you can't keep admin as the name admin in Zencart, so you just simply rename it. Now once you've done, uh, once you're into your admin file area, uh, you just highlight everything there and click upload. And that should be all there is to it. Okay, if everything worked out well, we've got all of our files up in there now. So let's go back to the Zen cart that we had uh, no easy populate on. We'll refresh the cart so that it'll show in our tools. And now at our tools menu down at the bottom, you can see that we have easy populate. So we click on that, and it says easy populate configuration file is missing. Please install your configuration file by clicking here. So I'm going to go ahead and click there and give it a second. And it says successfully installed the configuration file. So now down below, you'll have a list of the files that are in your temporary folder. And the first file that I have is this one here. Uh, and I can either import it or export it or save it to my computer. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my computer so I can open it, uh, open it in uh, uh, Notepad++ and have a look at it. Excuse me. I won't, uh, I won't bore you with that. I am going to do a, a later video because a lot of people have been asking for it, uh, where I do, uh, I've done an install of Zencart version 1.5. So, in addition to doing the install of Zencart version 1.5, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and do the, uh, the latest easy populate and, uh, yeah, let me just close that out for now. There's no need for that. So anyway, that's how you install uh, Easy Populate 1.2.5.7. It's very, very easy to do. And then from there, you can go and uh, export and import uh, the files from your system. Uh, you can, looking at one of my other videos, I've made a Excel upload file. Uh, the only difference in that video and what you would do in the CSV version is when you write your uh, upload file in Excel, rather than saving that as a tab delimited file, you just save that as a comma separated value file, CSV, and then you can just upload it through Easy Populate. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, rate, uh, and share with your friends.
Thank you and uh, take care.